What happens when an 81-year-old man has a weak voice, mumbles, has low energy, slow speech, slow movement, makes incorrect word choices, requiring frequent self-correction, forgetfulness, lapses in concentration, loss of train of thought? These observations, while concerning, must be interpreted cautiously. Many factors can influence cognitive performance, especially in an 81-year-old who's in a high-stress situation like a presidential debate. But let's be honest, he looked horrible up there. Now, it was reported that he supposedly had a cold, which could potentially affect cognitive function, particularly with the side effects of common over-the-counter antihistamine medications, for example, Benadryl. Two key concepts in cognitive health for older adults lie on the same spectrum, mild cognitive impairment, or MCI, in the more extreme version of that, dementia. Mild cognitive impairment is a condition where an individual has minor but noticeable declines in cognitive abilities, including memory and thinking skills. Unlike dementia, these changes don't significantly interfere with daily life. MCI can be a precursor to dementia, but not all cases will progress to dementia. Now, dementia is a syndrome that's characterized by a decline in cognitive function beyond what's expected from normal aging. It affects memory, thinking, orientation, comprehension, calculation, learning capacity, language. The most common type of dementia is Alzheimer's disease, and the first symptoms usually involve memory loss, especially for recently learned information. There's also difficulty with problem solving or planning, challenges in completing familiar tasks, confusion with time or place, problems with visual perception, language difficulties, meaning finding words or following conversations, misplacing items and inability to retrace steps, poor judgment or decision-making, withdrawal from work or social activities, and then there's mood and personality changes. In the progression of Alzheimer's disease or Alzheimer's dementia, it starts with the early stage of mild memory loss and cognitive difficulties, but often still they maintain their independence. And then it progresses to the middle stage where there's increased memory loss, more confusion, and more need for assistance with daily tasks. And then in the late stage, there's severe cognitive decline, physical impairment, and full-time care that's eventually required. Typically, the disease progresses over seven to 10 years, but this can vary significantly between individuals. The Montreal Cognitive Assessment, or the MOCA, is a widely used screening tool for detecting cognitive impairment. It assesses various cognitive domains, including attention, concentration, executive functions, memory, language, visual constructional skills, conceptual thinking, calculations, and orientation. So a score of 26 or above out of a total score of 30 is considered normal. The observed behaviors with an 81-year-old having a weak voice, mumbling, word choice errors, forgetfulness, lapses in concentration, and a loss of train and thought, that could potentially align with symptoms of cognitive decline. However, it is crucial to note that these symptoms could be explained by someone having a cold, perhaps causing them to not get a good night's sleep where they have sleep deprivation, as well as the anticholinergic side effects that's related to common cold medications. And sometimes for colds, uh, patients are giving opioids, which could have a potential to cause drowsiness and confusion as well. These observations, while noteworthy, are insufficient for any form of diagnosis. A comprehensive medical evaluation, including a neurological exam, imaging of the brain, cognitive assessments, these things would be necessary to accurately determine cognitive status. And those details have not been disclosed, which I think at this point should be disclosed to the public if we're talking about potentially voting in the leader of the free world.